Good morning, another day, another awfully outfit. Training shoes. <sighs> I'm so freaking tired. What not to do is be irresponsible and go to bed late. I'm so good about my nighttime routine, guys, but last night I allowed myself to stay up too late. You know, when you're having good conversation and like just don't want to go to sleep, you just don't. And then you get up in the morning and you're like, oh yeah, this is why I have a bedtime because this is miserable. <laughs> you don't get enough sleep. So I've had five hours of sleep and have a full day of training and work and business meetings and then an event tomorrow night. Not an event, but like I have plans tomorrow night. Good job, Emma. Good job, Emily, you screwed it up. <laughs> Let's go ahead and talk about this because everybody asks me about this waist cincher. I use it for a few things. One, it helps me sweat a lot. Number two, it really does help to keep your waist cinched in. This is not super tight, so I do feel like I might need to get another one that's a little tighter. It's just, it's just really not that tight. I have another one that I can wear during the day and I'm gonna be totally honest, I've not been wearing it during the day. I've just been wearing this when I train and then I take it off after training and cardio. But when I do wear it, I do feel like my waist feels more cinched in so I do think that it works. A lot of people ask me about it. This brand is called Squeeze Me Skinny and I don't really like the name of the brand just because I'm like what is this promoting and like I'm not skinny I'm like muscular. I don't know so <laughs> that's just me in my own head but that's what I'm using. That's why I'm using it. That's the brand. There's nothing magical about it. I've done preps for years and years and years without ever using one so you don't need one but will it help? I do think that even if it makes a 1% difference that I think that it <laughs> words. I do think that it can make at least a 1% difference and anything that makes a 1% difference in this sport is honestly gonna help you. So I do feel like it helps. That's my official, I don't know. Someone please send coffee. Hey, Nuffy, sweet boy. I'll be back, I'm gonna go to the gym, okay? The gym that's not open. I'm just gonna go train, not a gym. Self-love is making yourself a coffee when you normally wouldn't because you are a queen and you deserve it. Or because you're really irresponsible and did not go to bed on time and you need coffee. <laughs> Whatever. Lean on me when you're not strong. I'll be your friend. We all need somebody to me. Why you give me so much fooling Good morning, everybody. So it is Saturday morning, and I figured that I would take you guys through a Saturday in my life. So we're gonna do a Saturday vlog. I woke up this morning after an incredible night of sleep, which I needed so badly. The last two nights before that, I got five hours of sleep, and the night before that, I got three hours of sleep. I think there's a lot of factors that went into that. One, I was not on top of my nighttime routine. Two, I've been drinking energy drinks a little bit too late during the day on top of coffee. Not the best idea. And then Vinny got sick, in the middle of the night the other night. So he woke me up and I was up with him. I was taking care of him. He was all upset. So we were like cuddling. And then my mind was just awake and I was like thinking about all of my, you know, business ideas and things I am gonna be working on. And I was so excited about it. But like, I think because the energy drink was already in my system, I was just like, I was wide awake, like 3 a.m. wide awake, knowing that I have to get up at 5 a.m. to go train. So needless to say, last night I told like friends and everything. I was like, I'm not hanging out. I'm not even making plans tomorrow. My number one goal this weekend is to sleep because sleep is crucial, you guys, for your mental health, your physical health, especially being an athlete. If you're not sleeping, you're not recovering, and then your training is not effective. So it truly is so important. So I prioritized it. I took C21 last night, which is a natural sleep aid by First Form. It helps just by lowering your cortisol levels and helps you to get a deep, restful sleep. So I took that, and then I even posted on my Instagram story. I was like, my goal is to get eight hours. And I woke up after a little bit over nine hours of sleep. <laughs> bless from the heavens. It was incredible and I want to do it all over again. Like my goal today is just to repeat that again because I can't even imagine how great I'll feel tomorrow. So I had an incredible night's sleep and then I woke up this morning and I just spent some time reading and journaling, lots of time journaling, listening to Hillsong and Bethel music and just had a really nice morning to myself and it was incredible. I value my alone time so much. Like I can't even tell you guys how much I love it. And I mean, part of it is 
is because when I'm alone, that's when I can connect to God the most. And that's when I just, I don't know, I just feel the most connected and it's just something that I need for me personally. So it fills my cup up like no other. And then I can show up on, you know, YouTube and podcast and in the real world with my friends and family in just such a better way. So that was my morning. And now I am going to clean out my closet. Part of me is like, don't say it on camera because then you, then you have to do it. You're held accountable. But really it's an adulting thing I've been needing to do for a while. So I'm going to do it and I'm going to show you guys the before. It's really bad. Do not judge me. Here we go. Okay, so I don't judge me. Uh, this is the before. Look at those shoes. They used to be organized. I don't even know what happened. I'm not sure who came in here and did all that, but definitely wasn't me. Okay, so bad. This is the before. That is atrocious. And that, I just don't even want to talk about that. But part of all of this is because there is like no room in these drawers. Just, oh my gosh. And I can't even see what's in there. Clearly, I need to do some organization. I need to get rid of a lot of things. So that is my goal for today. And I cleaned my room yesterday, so it's nice and clean. Other goal for today is to finally go to Target and get a bedspread because I have needed a bedspread like since before I went to Texas. So like honestly all year, I've needed a new one all year long and I just haven't made the time to go to Target. Every day I'm like, I'm gonna go to Target and it just does not happen. It's like the only thing open right now. But I, I really, really need like a bedspread. I'm just using a blanket and then uh, one of those duvet cover inserts. I just need to get one. So goal is closet and that. And if I do that, that will be a great Saturday because that will take up a lot of time. I also wanted to share with you guys, I made a little to-do list. And on the to-do list, I just put out like all of the adulting things I need to do, the important things for my business, and then reminders for things like, for example, Mother's Day is tomorrow. So for my stepmom, I wanna make sure I get her something, send her something, little things. And what I do is I don't overwhelm myself with trying to do all of it. I just look at it and I'm like, okay, if I only got one thing done today, what would make me feel so much better? And then I go and I do that thing first. I'm gonna knock that out and you know, that can be a to-do list for all week if it needs to be because honestly there is always more to do so I just kind of knock one thing off at a time and that's it I feel like life is about balance you know if I sit there and try to knock all of that out today I'm just gonna spend all day doing that and then my day is gone and yeah I don't want to spend my last day on earth just doing my to-do list <laughs> to be honest <laughs> like if it's my last day I'm gonna do a little bit of what I need to do I'm gonna get my training in I'm gonna get my cardio in I'm gonna sleep I'm gonna see some friends or talk to some friends on the phone you know talk to family do all the things that make me happy. Cuddle with Vinny. All right, clearly procrastinating the closet. Let's go ahead and do this. While I clean out the closet, because I always like to make chores more intentional, more fun, more whatever, I'll turn something on. So right now I'm going to watch this. Interpretation of Dreams by Stephanie. And this is the YouTube channel. If you guys ever want to search it, I always watch this one. And she's one of my favorite people ever favorite people ever. She's a mentor of mine and she doesn't know it. So I'm gonna watch that and do this now. Stop procrastinating. Here we go. Random update for you guys. Ugh, it always becomes more of a mess before it comes clean. And I had to like untangle a ton of necklaces and trying to get this thing situated. So, okay, we can do this. Update, that message from Stephanie was amazing. You guys definitely need to listen to it. I'm somebody who I've had vivid, vivid dreams since I think as long as I can remember, but I started recording them in 2014. I like have the first one on my phone, I think, that I ever recorded that was like insane. So it's a really good one, especially if you're somebody that has dreams, pay attention to them, write them down, go listen to that message. And now I'm gonna turn on some good music. So I have Slander and Griffin all need to know. Down on me. Update. It just keeps getting messier. But we're looking better in here. Much more organized. Much more space. I have not even gone into these drawers yet. Getting rid of all of that so far. It's like trash and bags and blankets. I'm about to find a stopping point and call it for the day and I'll have to do the drawers another time. <laughs> that honestly took way longer than I planned for it to take. I spent most of the day inside doing this, so I have a few hours of sunlight left. I'm gonna wrap it up. I found a stopping point and I wanna show you guys what I got to. All right, and here we have it. 
much more organized. Here I have cropped hoodies, full-size hoodies, zip-up hoodies, actual jackets, long sleeve shirts, my jeans and pants, some of the winter stuff and stuff I never wear is like in the back. Up here, those are like seasonal hoodies, warmer hoodies. These are like more like t-shirt style hoodies and then random ones that I would need to pick out that I don't wear all the time. Like if I feel like wearing a green hoodie, it's over there instead of hanging up. I have my competition stuff, my favorite joggers and sweatpants. And then here I'm just keeping my stash of hats, a little bag that I like to carry when I'm not in the gym. My jewelry is all untangled and nicely laying out. I don't know if you guys remember, but last prep series, I got this out of a whole bag of like little positive messages. And there's like a whole Ziploc bag of them. And I just randomly picked one out and this is the one that I got. So I kept it and this is the one that I'm gonna be displaying here. And I also decided to, to display my IFBB trophy, my little medal here, just as motivation with my bikini and my heels. I always use my heels for check-in photos. So I need access to them but this will just be a nice motivation to look at it every day to remind myself what I'm going for. And these are just the shoes that I always wear. The rest of my shoes went over there and then I'm giving a bunch away. And then these are all formal dresses and then dresses and then some shirts. You guys, this is the extent of my normal clothes that is honestly not okay. I've worn all of it like a million times. Like these are all old and honestly, these are gym clothes right here, like gym t-shirt type stuff. So needless to say, I need regular clothes. I may have to do a regular clothes haul and just get a few staple items for myself because I'm a grown woman. I need a wardrobe outside of fitness clothes. And then I have robes galore <laughs> and then just some extra bags up there and it feels nice and clear. Like I said, I did not even dive into these because there's literally no room inside of those. So that will have to be next weekend's project. I feel so good and so accomplished with my beautiful closet now. Uh, the drawers will have to wait till next weekend. I took Vinny out and we actually hung out with his best friend Oscar for like 40 minutes, I think. So quite a while, he's tired and now I'm gonna brave it to Target on a Saturday in Los Angeles. May regret this later. I have my little mask. This is what I've been wearing, just like this. Low key. So glad that I can wear my rave mask in public and it's fine. By the way, to be totally honest, mask at this point, <laughs> stupid. <laughs> I'm just gonna say it's stupid, but they require you to wear them in Los Angeles. So I have to wear one in order to go to the grocery store. So here we are, I'm gonna rave it <laughs> to the grocery store. Bro, bro, um, Do I really need to go to Target? Oh shit. No way, man. No way I'm doing this. No. I'll tell you what I'm not gonna do. <laughs> I'm not gonna spend an hour in line to go to Target to buy my things. Absolutely not. I do not need anything from Target that bad. It can wait. So Target was a no-go. Eating rice cake at home now with Vinny. And I just realized it has been so long since I've done nothing. I know there's one time in Texas on a weekend on a Saturday when I like watched TV. I watched almost a whole movie with Sam. And that was kind of like, yeah, that was great. So I need to, I'm gonna do nothing. Vinny, you wanna do nothing with me? Yeah? He's always down, always down to do nothing. <sighs> yeah, I'm like really tired. I'm just gonna do nothing for like two hours and then I'm gonna go do cardio. So that's my Saturday, very uneventful. See, he's always down. <laughs> always down for nothing. I love you, dude. I just found this show on Amazon Prime called Upload, or maybe it's Uploaded. I think it's Upload. And it's about the afterlife and about how after you die, they like upload your conscious into this like computer simulated program type thing. It's pretty interesting. It's like weird, kind of cool. Possibly where the world is headed. I don't know. I'm gonna watch that. If you guys didn't know, if you have a dog that likes to eat your remote controls, which I know you think Vinny's perfect, but he does in fact eat remote controls, you can actually get the app on your phone for certain TVs. It finds your TV and you can just power it on, press power on, there it goes. You can just use your phone as a remote. So we're gonna go to Prime Video and turn on upload. Mm, this is happiness. <sighs> Feels nice. Hey, no. He's so cute. Benny, you're so cute. <laughs> Felt good to be nice and lazy for a little bit, but now I've got to go do my cardio. I actually slept in this morning and did not do morning cardio, so I am gonna do all of my cardio in one session, which will feel great. I'm gonna put on a playlist probably and just knock it out. So here we go. Okay, 
Okay, so finished the cardio, feeling great. I did an hour of cardio, and then I actually just ended up doing some light circuit work for ch chest, shoulders, and arms. So for my post-workout, I'm gonna do the post-workout protein by First Form. It is Formula One in the Magical Charms flavor. This flavor is amazing. It literally tastes like the milk after you eat Lucky Charms cereal, which I freaking wish that I could have. I used to love that cereal. Don't sleep on this. You should definitely try it. It has, let's see, 1.5 grams of fat, 21 protein, and four carbs. And it tastes so good. It's really fast digesting. So this is the perfect thing right after exercise because it gets to repeat and recovering your muscles directly after you work out. You tear them down. And this shaker cup is kind of broken, so I have to shake it weird. <laughs> I mess up all of my shaker cups, so you need to stop washing them in the washer. <laughs> Cannot wait to taste this. Tell you. <laughs> Use your muscles, Emily. Ready? Mm. It's extra satisfying after a hard cardio session, late at night when you're also thirsty. Oh, what did I do to deserve this life? It's so good. That's it for today. It wasn't the most eventful Saturday, which I love. You guys, normally I'm doing so many things. Going to the beach or to here or walking here and doing this. And today it was just great. I was at home. I cleaned. I organized. My life was in order. I did nothing for like an hour and a half. That was the highlight of my day. <laughs> and then I did cardio and it felt amazing. I'm happy. Today was such a good day. I needed that. Sometimes you need a Saturday just to like chill. It wasn't that chill, but like a little chill. You get what I'm saying? I'll see you tomorrow for Sunday. Good morning and happy Sunday. This is a typical Sunday morning for me. I wake up, I throw a bikini on, throw my heels on, and do some posing practice. This is kind of a current physique update for you guys. I haven't done one in quite some time now. So this is where I'm sitting at currently right now. I have, I wanna guess probably like 12 pounds to be stage lean. So this is what I would like to walk around at normally, maybe a few pounds less. But for stage, you have to get very, very, very lean, which is not my favorite look for just like a bikini pool style look, but it's just, it's what you have to do for competition. So we are about to get very shredded, but here's kind of where we're at right now. Not feeling very swole this morning. I wake up and I always feel like empty and flat and like not as lean. As the day goes on, I get more food in me. I'm sure I'll feel a little bit more muscular and you know, whatever. It sucks when you pose flat because you're just like, nothing looks good. And then you're at the gym with all this food and sodium and water in you. And you're like, oh, okay, I look fine. Everything's fine. But I've done it so many times now. This is my 21st show that I know how it goes. So I don't judge myself for how I look in the morning. I just do my thing. I pose, I get it in, and then I continue through th with the day. So I have some cardio today, but for now I need coffee and I'm gonna watch church online. Breakfast this morning is my usual. Three ounces of egg whites, three slices of turkey bacon, and one protein pancake going down the hatch. And of course, I'm gonna take my daily reds and greens that I drink every single day. I'm actually out of the reds. There's like barely any left. So I'm using the last bit of that, but OptiGreens 50 is my number one favorite product from First Form. This takes away all bloating. It helps you to have incredible digestion. You're regular in the bathroom every single day, and it just helps you to feel incredible from the inside out. So everyone always asks, what would be my favorite between the two? Always OptiGreens. If you only have money for one, get this one, and I promise it'll become a staple. It'll become the one thing that you never want to live without. So highly, highly recommend this one. And this one is a very powerful antioxidant. It helps with nutrient delivery and blood flow overall. And there's anti-aging properties in it. It helps you with your exercise performance as well. So sometimes people will take this one actually with their pre-workouts. I've seen that before. So that's interesting, but I like the taste of taking them together and it just helps me feel good from the inside out. So if you guys want to try it, either one or both of them, I'll link them down both below. You can always get free shipping with my link. And then of course my Microfactor vitamin pack, this just makes it a no brainer, super easy because you have all the vitamins you need, the antioxidant, multi, CoQ10, probiotic fruits and veggies and EFA all in one packet. So I literally don't have to think about anything. I just mix this up, I take these and then I start the day off feeling incredible and you will too. <laughs> no, but really take care of your insides, whether you you know try this or not, take care of your insides. It really does, it affects everything, your sleep, your performance in the gym, absolutely everything. Also, I need to buy another one of those mixers. I had like a hand mixer thing 
that mixes it really well, but I left it in Texas. So I'm just gonna have to use a fork. And cheers. I actually don't even like chugging it anymore because it tastes so good and refreshing. I don't want it to be gone. I just do it for the camera, but when I'm not filming, I don't chug it. <laughs> I just sip on it now. I used to, and now I'm just like, it's so good though. I want it to last. I did not mix it up that well. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> I'm not gonna make that joke, never mind. Amy, come on. Let's go. Come on. You're literally so lazy. Now you're gonna pretend to do something right when we need to leave? Fake news. Let's go. You literally just sat there pretending to do nothing. He's so just stubborn in the mornings. Where are we? Where are we? Wait, wait, wait. Oh, you wanna go? Go. <laughs> go run, go, go, go. He usually takes off. Penny, <gasps> ready? He smells something, I don't know. Go, 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 go. He's so cute when he runs super fast in the sand. This is our daily walk every day. It's weird. He prefers to walk with us. <laughs> That's pretty damn cute. <laughs> Get over it. He's fast. Yeah, he's good. <laughs> Look at that cute face. Oh, that's a good one. That's a screenshotter. So this is a really good place in Venice called Shoots, European deli and cafe. All sorts of sandwiches and salads. They have breakfast stuff, omelets. Super, super cute in here. Vinny and I had the best time at the beach. We visited our old stomping grounds where we used to live. It was just amazing to be outside, but honestly, I'm so tired. I just wanna be lazy. <laughs> I don't know, this weekend I think is just me catching up because I feel like every weekend I've been doing things and you know, working out outside and being in the sunshine and I feel like I'm just so tired. So I'm gonna allow myself to sleep. I had a really hard, heavy week of training, like training so hard, lots of cardio. I'm putting my body through a lot, so I think it's okay to have a little bit of a slower paced weekend. So you guys get to see just a weekend in my life where I'm actually just a lot slower than I normally am, but it's been really nice actually. And also I just wanted to mention on my Instagram story highlight quarantine, you can go in there and look at everything. And the last few story highlights are about the HR 6666 Act which if that thing is actually passed is not gonna be a good situation at all for any of us. So I have a petition against it. There's a petition that I shared and I just want you guys to go read it, see what you think about it, look at lots of different sources that explain what it means and then make your own decision. And if you're somebody that does not agree with it, then you can sign the petition that I shared, but that's it. I just wanted to very quickly address it because just like in real life, I like to be aware. I don't like to be ignorant of what's going on. I like to be aware. I like to do my research and I dip in. I do what I need to do. I have the conversations, I talk about it and then I dip right back out. So I'm gonna dip out now and I'm not here to argue or impose my beliefs on anyone by any means. It's just something real that's happening in the world. It's something important. And I think that in the midst of all of our fitness videos and workouts and home workouts, we also need to be aware of what's happening in the government and society and what that would imply for us moving forward and how it will affect living our daily lives. Cause it's gonna affect a lot, you guys. So it's really important just to be aware. Your opinions are yours. I you know, value that and I respect that. I just, I, I'm gonna use my platform to share mine, discuss mine, and bring awareness to it, if anything. If anything, just to bring awareness so that you guys can take a few moments out of your day to become aware of what's going on, form your own opinion, and, you know, have the conversations that you need to have too. So that's it for now. I'm going to dip out a little bit. I wanted to mention there is this stand-up comedy on Netflix, and I watched it with Carla and my roommate the other day. It's by, her name is Taylor, and I believe it's called, like, Quarter Life Crisis. I don't know if I mentioned it in this vlog yet or not, but we, like, randomly turned it on and girl, guys, I, I say girl, there's guys watching too, I'm sure. We were laughing the entire time. Like if, especially if you're a female in the like 20 to 30 age range, you're gonna die laughing. I think guys would think it's funny too, but just in case you need some comedic relief in the midst of everything going on, it can sometimes get heavy. Turn that on, you will laugh the whole time. And if you guys have seen it, comment it down below. Also, if you guys have another stand-up comedy thing that I should watch, let me know where to watch it. If it's like Netflix, Hulu, Prime, cause your girl got all the subscriptions. 
prescriptions, <laughs> which is funny because I don't need them. It's unnecessary. But there's just, you know, when someone recommends something and they're like, oh, it's on Hulu. And you're like, well, I don't have that. Or it's on Prime. So yeah, I don't know. That's how I spend my money. <laughs> don't judge me. Even though I don't even watch it that much. I justify it because I honestly don't spend a lot of money on other things. So whatever. Yeah, hopefully that makes you laugh. And I think we're going to go ahead and close out the vlog here. I feel like it's a lot of talking, but hopefully you guys enjoyed spending the weekend with me. It was a slower one. I already kind of feel refreshed, but I have another like two or three hours for Sunday. So uh, I'm going to relax. And then after I relax, I'm going to kind of get my to-do list out and look at the week and kind of plan for the week ahead to make sure that I put my best foot forward starting on Monday morning and crush another week. So I love you guys so much and I will see you guys in the next episode, which maybe will make it more of a prep focused episode since this one was more of like a relaxing like weekend vlog. Let me know what you guys think. Press thumbs up on the way out. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And PSA, Dead to Me season two just came out. So I think I'm gonna watch that. <laughs> Bye guys.